G'day Tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Stimia21 as always and uh, today I'm bringing you a E25 replay on the Tundra map. Um, just recently bought the E25 when I heard it was going out of the um, in-game store um, and I've not been disappointed so far, it's actually really really OP um, and that's how I like my tanks. So, what can I say, say about the E25? Well, it's uh, got a very f fast rate of fire. It, um, <laughs> It's, it's quite amazing with uh, f chocolate, so using chocolate on a tank, so chocolate is the best thing in the world, obviously. Um, Let's go! And yeah, I, I, it's, just a, it's just a really awesome tank. Now, as you'll see, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be all over this map. This 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 thing can get anywhere really quickly. Um, and it's basically like playing an ELC AMX. Um, and as you've seen, I, I can play one of those, and I've played one of those before. I quite enjoy it still. However, this uh, this tank does actually have some on the move accuracy. You can actually fire and hit things on the move reasonably well. Now, I'm taking up a very typical um, tank destroyer spot on Tundra at the moment in the um, A0 section. Now, I'm hoping that they'll start to come over because we've not actually sent many tanks over there. Just um, looks like it's a M4 medium. A IS Russian heavy tank and a T-150 Russian heavy tank. Now I, I'm hoping that this comet is a bit silly and comes and burst the way. I should be well enough in cover. Unfortunately, for some reason, one of our guys team killed the M4 for reasons unknown. Um, not sure what's going on there. So, I've decided I'm not going to do much over here, so I'm relocating to the other side of the map where I can actually get some shots in. And I'm going to head down the one line, so head down there. Actually, sorry, I'm not doing that just yet. I am actually going to be shooting at this uh, T-150. I'm trying to get some easy shots on it. The problem is the armor is very thick on the T-150, and, and it's numb good well angled from this angle so I've decided to give up there as you see this is the speed of this thing's really good you're hitting 60 and 50 on the flat checking around me at all times you've got to be very careful in this tank because it, it can't take any hits whatsoever even when angled uh, the man looking can bounce a couple of things but it's f they're few and far between and there's AT-15A, tier 7, I believe that's the premium heavy tank. Oh, I sure don't know. I'm not sure actually now, but we're going to go help him out. Let's fight this ARL. Now the ARL probably will fight him in a tra simple training board, but because we've got a 2 point four eight second reload, we can do this. There we go, we planted two shots into him, and, and sa pretty much saving that AT-15A. Our next target, we've decided to go for the Panzer IV. A bit of a power slide there, this thing can go quite fast and you've got to be careful for that. Another hit into him. Missed that shot. We're far on the move, so it's given. We take that. That's our first kill there. So now I've decided to go for the Churchill. So he's uh, facing away, and I believe we have his rear. Ready to fire. What I can see. So, find the move, get a nice shot there. Another one. And then we bounce this shot. So now we're going to aim. Kill. Put it to the side of the turret. Churchill 3, uh, Churchill 1 turret's actually very weak. I guess the T150. That was my next target, but obviously someone took that for me. So there's an SU 12244. Um, the other T7 And there's one of those rare bounces. Oh, I didn't understand how that worked. Um, oh, the ARL is pulling our um, DNA to cheat. Even though it's probably well. obvious that I am not now. So. Shots in the SU, missed that there. Enemy 
yeah, but yeah, get out of the way, because I'm not, I'm not willing to take a hit. This level 1 is a shot down. Fortunately, it's not the payoff, but there we go, there's our third kill. So, pretty even at the moment, it's, it's uh, three of us left versus four of them. It's just me, a Jackson, and a, a Bishop. All of us have done fairly well, we've all got two, uh, two, we've all got more than two kills. So we're carrying the team reasonably well. I've decided to go find the artillery because I don't want to have to play it, find it, try and find it later and get shotguns, so I'll give him why he's not thinking about it. He packs the fog way too early. There's a plant. Oh, three shots in the that's required to kill him. I'm using what I aim a lot, mainly just because I don't need to aim a lot of these tanks I'm facing, because I'm actually getting to spots where I can... Well, I'm in a good position just to take them out. Jackson gets taken out by the SU-2244. Um, I'm now gearing up to go get him. But the bishop does well and absolutely smashes him, which is great. Because we didn't really want to face him because he has a nice nasty gun. So now all that's left is just myself with four kills and the bishop with three kills. And the um, enemy E25 and a Yang Panther. Yeah, yeah, just a Yang Panther, not a Yang Panther. So, yeah, so now we're just sort of trying to work out how we're going to go about things here. And uh, going this way actually ended up being quite lucky, so I actually originally thought about just heading straight for their cap and see if I could find them on the hill, but this has turned out to be quite a good spot to go. But as you will see shortly. Checking my angles at all times. There's the enemy E25, and he's right. He, he feels uh, hungry for some arty. But uh, he's in for a nasty surprise. Penetration. Enemy armor is hit. So put not two nice hits into him. That's some um, 300 damage in just under si oh, under three seconds. So you can see why this tank's quite OP, especially at its own level, because you can penetrate almost anything it faces. 150 pin on the on the main rounds. Target acquired. Put another man to him, and we're not out of the shot. Now, target. now I do seem a bit derpy here. I think that I have enough speed to make up this little incline here. And no, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> so yeah, and everyone laughs at me. Well, the. Churchill gun carrier laughs at me. I actually laughed at the Churchill gun carrier. Let me in the battle. I thought, oh no, you poor bloke. So, I think about this. So, I can either wait for the C25, or I can go for him. And I'm a little worried about the Jedi Panther because he can two shot me. And he's got a pretty fast reload, about six or seven seconds. So, I'm, at the moment, I'm just waiting here. So here we go, and then the Yang Panther appears. And then the Bishop puts a nice round into him. We put a round into him. Put another round into him. And now I've decided, right, we can take a shot. So we'll just go tank some damage. Puts a round to us, and then we put a round into him. Because we were up at a, extent, at a higher, higher attitude than him. We could actually go through his uh, angled plate. Now we see that tree move. Put him around the, uh, the E25. And, the and there's the top gun. And yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, we've, done, we've done around almost 3,000 damage. Uh, we earned a W and an 8 of 5,370. And yeah, that was just an amazing game. Um, I actually was just trialling the food for the first battle, and I've just noticed that everything's just a little bit better, like the reload time, the the aiming aiming time, firing on the move, all all brilliant now, all even more OP. So it's even it's it's just amazing what we can do with this tank. Um, 
Now let's go to the post game stats. Okay, post game stats. So that game was a first class mastery, not enough to be a ma be a ace mastery. Um, I believe a lot of really good players are playing this tank because it is um, a lot of fun to play. And, and I gotta say, if you don't have one, go get it because as of January sixteenth, I believe. Check your check the dates, obviously, but uh, it won't be available ever again on the server. It'll probably be a lot like the Type Five Nine, where it will be released only as a prize or something like that. It may come back every now and then, like the KV-5, but I wouldn't leave the chance. If you want one, go get one, because this is an awesome tank. Loads of fun. So, um, Top Gun, obviously, we've got six kills, and we've got High Caliber, which is always very nice. Um, almost doing 3,000 damage. Um, rather interesting little number there, the nine assistance damage. Don't know where that came from. Um, probably because I tracked someone I'm not sure, but um, yeah, hit percentage 93%, so we fired 20, uh, sorry, 31 shots and hit with 29 of them, that shows how accurate this gun is, especially on the move. Um, this was a 2x2 two, two two times for the day, so it was 3,986 experience, and we made 65,833 silver. So, on the next screen, um, we came top of the team, obviously, with... 1200 base XP, which is really good. Um, this was a tier 7 match, so we didn't get any extra um, tier 8 goodness there, but I actually find being a top tier in this is actually really nasty and, and, and a lot of fun for, well, mainly myself, not other people, unfortunately. Um, shout out to these two guys, they did quite well. Him with the Jackson with the um, getting uh, the. I don't know what, what medal he got. I'm. I wish I'd looked it up, but I don't, I don't remember. Unfortunately, this is a print screen, so I don't actually have the original plates. So, yeah, and the Bishop, um, big thank you to you for um, standing and fighting that um, yeah, Panther. That one shot that you put into him may have meant the difference between me winning and losing this game. Um, yeah, shout out to that Yak Panther. He had a really good game. Um, I feel kind of sorry for him because he... He had one, a pretty good game for the Yak yeah, Panther. From what I understand, it's a pretty uh, frustrating tank to play. Um, Comma here has done quite well, and that is you one two two forty four. I'm actually thinking of getting one of those. I'm still umming and ahhing. Um, if anyone's got one, please put in the comments and tell me what it's like, because I'd like to hear about it. Um, I've done my research, but I'm just not sure yet. So we'll find out. Um, the detailed report: shots fired, obviously thirty one. We've already talked about this. Twenty nine. Hit, uh, 29 hits out of 31, 25 penetrations, so that's really good, and this da this tank, well, it's got very low alpha, the rate of fire well makes up for that. Hits received, we received 22 hits, um, 10 of them penetrated, now, most of these, there's only 3 hits we really took that would have done serious damage to us, and that was from... The SU-12244 that we bounced earlier in the game off the mantlet, which is rare, I've not seen that many in many games I've played with this thing. Um, and also the penetrations that would have come from mostly the, um, oh, what do you call it, the uh, Leopard with its little machine gun. So we blocked 300 damage from armour, which is good. Um, we damaged 9 vehicles and destroyed 6, which is really good. Damage caused with your assistance 9, I I'd like to know what that was caused by, whether that was like a track or... I doubt it was spotting, that, that just wouldn't make sense. Um, distance travel 3.89 kilometers, sorry. Yeah, not bad. Base um, credits made was 73,206, but due to the repair of the vehicle and also some ammunition, uh, the ammunition is dirt cheap in this, so it, it, look at that. We've, had, we've, we've barely spent over, what's that, seven grand? That's just over seven grand, so yeah, we've, we've made a quite a nice, um, dollar from that, so, um, the XP, so, with premium base XP was 1812, it was doubled, um, and bonus for a premium vehicle, we got a little bit extra, um, so that's something I've not, bonus for premium tier, vehicle tier, actually I don't know that one, that's an interesting one I've not seen before, that doesn't, doesn't matter though, but that's, well that's probably just the times, but does that not get doubled? Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, well, that, uh, feel free to discuss that, because I've not seen that 
option that that thing before so that's quite cool um and a total of 3986 xp which is uh, awesome which is all gone to my crew which is good and um a total of 183 xp which is i'm trying to save up so i don't have to um stock mine a couple of tanks that sound really nasty there's a couple of tanks out there i'm happy to stock around but some out there it's just no well that's it from me um, for this video um, if you like the video please like it and please leave a comment it really helps the channel out and I hope you enjoy I'm sorry about this hiatus I'm gonna be making some more videos soon I've got at least four more to come soon and because I'm on Christmas holidays I've got a little more time um, Christmas was a bit mad for me this year because as you know I've got two kids and a wife and I've got a massive um, family on both sides so yes um should be a time of plenty for my replays so if you like my replays now is the time to subscribe and i will see you next time have a good day and i hope you all had a merry christmas um i'll see you next time